So I just got this Jackery portable power station. It came with two 100 watt solar panels for faster recharging on it. Um, we're gonna go through and let it charge up here today. It's not really sunny, uh, but we're getting about 60, 70 watts. It's going up a little bit, 75 watts. Sun's coming out a little bit more, so I wouldn't call it sunny yet though. It's cloudy. So we'll see how long this takes to charge up. According to the box on it, with the two 100 watt panels, it should take about eight hours, a little over eight hours to charge up from empty. Um, but this is something that I can take with me on the golf cart and have portable power here on the property and be able to use different devices with that. It's a thousand watts. Uh, and it's pure sine wave So that'll be nice to have that and you can actually charge it with a car charger or a wall charger too If you want to charge it faster car charger takes about 14 hours. It said then a wall charger is about seven and a half hours But here boondocking in the bus um, Different property and stuff like that too where we're at uh, It'll just be something neat to have or to take with us where there's no power. You don't have to run an extension cord It seems pretty convenient This is the Explorer 1000. I know they have different sizes. And it's 1,002 watt hours. Um, but we'll try it out. I'll put some stuff on it on a load, but it's nice to have the, the solar panels and be able to charge it. Again, um, you know, to be out here where I don't have power run a lot of places, I'll just have something portable that I can carry instead of messing with the generator or anything. These solar panels uh, stand up on their own. There's a little Velcro uh, attaching thing on the back there. It's just real nice. You can set them up and point them to the sun. And hopefully the sun will come out here in a little bit, but I'm gonna let it charge. I did notice it says for best use not to get these things wet. Uh, and we do have a hurricane coming here the next tomorrow. So I wanna make sure I have them inside for that for sure. But uh, if the power goes out, uh, it might be something I could let the neighbors borrow too if they don't have power. So. It could come in real handy in storm situations like that. It's a little brighter out now. We still got some thin clouds, but we're about 130 watts that it's bringing in. That's not too bad. Each solar panel has its own little plug that goes into this little device that has, it brings two into one, uh, and then it just plugs right into the, the DC input right there. So again, we're averaging around 100. It's going up, you know, up above 100 and a little bit below, but it's not full sun today. It's cloudy in and out of the clouds. So we'll see how long it's gonna take. Okay, so we're out here with the Jackery. It's at 100% in the sun, and we're gonna, we've been charging our tools and stuff as we work on the vehicles here. We have a 1947 Greyhound bus that we're working on. We don't have power over here for this. And we're gonna try to power up the air compressor with this too and see if this works. It does. 670 watts it's pulling out of there, 700 watts. So well within 720, 730, going up just a little bit, but still like, we have a thousand watts capability with that, so we're not even close. And we're building air pressure. It's a super quiet generator, by the way, it's awesome. Generator, air compressor. Air compressor. <laughs> yeah. This is our super quiet generator right there, because uh, the Jackery is super quiet. It's going about 715 watts there. There you go. I think it's pretty awesome, huh? And we only took the batteries down to 99% on that, and then the solar power will kick it back up here in just a little bit. I have the one in the shade just a little bit. If I move it over, we'll be good to go. We also ran the grinder on the Jackery today, and it worked great. I have the golf cart charger on the Jackery this morning. The sun's just coming up. These panels will be fully in the sun in just a little bit. But that charger there plugs into the golf cart and then into the Jackery. It pulls about 700 watts. And uh, I'll be able to charge for easily an hour here this morning and then I'll turn it off with the solar panels charge the Jackery back up. And then throughout the day today, I'll probably be able to get two and a half hours, maybe three hours with a charge on the golf cart. Um, 
just by using the solar panels. That'll be really nice. This jackery is really cool. Very handy.